See works works for me. Another function of SeaWorks is that we also use it for our vehicle maintenance. We need to know when we change the oil last on it, when the vehicle registration is due, when the next safety check is due for a vehicle. With SeaWorks, this makes this all possible to plan out so that we can ensure that we have enough vehicles out on the road to keep our tours going. We have a fleet of 4x4 and 6x6 vehicles here in the backcountry and we do like to play hard in the backcountry so our vehicles can take quite a beating on the rough country roads. Austrian made army vehicles for the Swiss Army, uh, they're our fleets roughly from the early 70s. We use Seaworks to track the maintenance history of these vehicles. We can track, we can tell you exactly which parts have been replaced on which day and that actually helps us make decisions as to when a vehicle needs to retire, we need to bring in new vehicles. Vehicles. We use Seaworks to track if we blow a transmission, if we change tires, and just to see which parts have been changed out for newer parts and just to keep our fleet up and running and, and, and maintained in a good, uh, reasonable fashion. Alright, let's go out this way and we can check out our uh, mechanics area. Right here we have our mechanic Willie's working on a carburetor for one of our vehicles for a Pinsgauer. Uh, of course, we'd use SeaWorks to track all this maintenance after the fact about when the vehicle came in, when it was completed, and how long it takes to complete, and then that'll go as part of that asset history for that vehicle. Come over this way, there's some of our vehicles that are down right now that we're working on. Got a number nine Pinsgauer. This is the one, the, the carburetor that Willie's working on right now. It's uh, recorded as inactive status right now in SeaWorks because it's not able to be used. Once that carburetor is rebuilt and then placed back into the vehicle, we mark it as active and that's how our managers know that we can use that vehicle and it's safe to go out on tour and that it's running. It's, uh, Pinsgauer number 13 is back here in the vehicle maintenance area, so it is marked as inactive in Seaworks. So once we get its problems fixed and uh, gets marked as active in the Seaworks system, we then park it in front and that's how we know that it's safe to use and take out on tour. All right, and then of course we have Pinsgauer number three here that uh, just came back. It had something stuck in its tire. Um, it's flat. We just plugged it, um, and it's going to be going back on tour here momentarily. And then we'll go back into SeaWorks and update what we did to it, and that we repaired the flat, and that'll go down as part of that access maintenance history. And everything that I showed you today that we're managing through the SeaWorks database system, it all comes down to safety. We want our guests to be safe when they're out here on tour with us. SeaWorks helps us do that and make sure that our vehicles are well maintained and in proper working order. Make sure that all of our tours can go out nice and safe and send home happy tours for many years to come. As you guys can imagine, there's lots of unsung heroes and lots of hard work that goes on behind the scenes that our guests don't get to see that keeps everything looking as pristine as what it is out here. We use SeaWorks to document our monthly zip line inspections as a requirement for our ACCT inspectors. We use it to make sure that the lines aren't sagging, that all the steps on the platforms are working and they're not rotting and that everything's safe. We use it to make sure that the poles haven't come loose and just make sure that everything is as safe as it possibly can be for our guests so that they have a good time. We also use it as part of our inspections for our ditches. We use a preventive maintenance schedule to go out there monthly and document the fact that there's no loose rocks into the tunnels, that there's no debris blocking the entrance to the tunnels. And we also use it to make sure that the grass is getting cut, making sure everything looks nice. SeaWorks is the easiest route to reporting and it works for us. We love it. All right, welcome to Kauai Backcountry Adventure zip line number four. If you're seeing me from this view, that means you're stuck in the middle right now. But not to worry, you're just as safe stuck here as you were zipping across. What we're doing now is we're in the process of what's called a full assist. Notice how that we don't call it a rescue because you're never in danger. We call this an assist. 
So what happened is you didn't quite make it all the way to the other side. So it's my job to clip myself back on and come on out and retrieve you. As you can see, I have some gentlemen on the landing deck behind me uh, holding on to a rope that's attached to me. I come out and get you. I wrap my legs around you, attach myself to your harness, and they pull us back in. It's about three minutes and you're perfectly safe back on the ground again. If this happens to you, don't worry, don't panic, you're safe. Just think of it as some extra zip time. And look at the view. Seaworks, it's the easy route to reporting.